<laughs> so yesterday when I was working on this video and a few other things, it was announced that our circuit breaker, not a lockdown, has been extended by a month to 1st June. I mean, who expected that, right? Since our government has spent so much money helping broke people like me, we can't afford to hire the Avengers, and thus, we're left with the virus vanguard. With fake news buster, Mawa Man, Dr. Disinfector, Care Lady, Minimo, and Circuit Breaker, COVID-19 is nothing to fear, citizen. <laughs> Bobbing kind of started when Gov.sg, the website for the Singapore government, decided to work with Ben of Doodlers to create uh, this PR movement, or PR stunt as a lot of people online call it, uh, to make frontliners a lot more relatable. I mean, it's not like, they're not already relatable since the, most of them are friends, family, brothers, sisters, wives, daughters, husbands, sons. Um, but in a sense, it's like to show appreciation for them. So anyways, there's a whole bunch of good and bad in this whole thing. Like it's great that the government decided to commission an, a small little collective. Okay, they're not that small. A collective like Ben on Doodles instead of hiring like a large ass agency to like do like the whole thing so um but then let's start with the, the issues uh, the issues that i have with this thing i'm like for example dr disinfector is a lady called dashita and i don't know why but her backstory is practically the worst thing since liho decided to add melted cheese into every single flavor they have her story it involves her being flushed down a toilet after a failed experiment now you know i can't you can't really blame the guys from Band of Duelers for coming out with like such a backstory and I'm not even sure if they did come out with the backstory or the backstory was given to them but like despite all the checks and balances from you know the artists to the agency to whoever and higher up that just approved this I mean the pun of being flushed down the toilet and being called Dashita is kind of lame right I mean you can do a lot better than that it's time to stop! Now, of course, there's a lot that's wrong with this whole <laughs> unmitigated disaster that has eventually led them to take down the website and actually uh, put a placeholder site telling everyone that they're going to revamp the whole thing and rewrite the copy for the really, really sad VR Man spin-offs. Props to VR Man for being our first Singaporean superhero. So let's start with the Facebook comments. One of the biggest issues that I've had with this whole thing is that Ben Abdullahs wasn't even mentioned until this whole thing went sideways. Like when the whole thing went up on Monday, when I saw it on Monday, uh, they weren't even there. Like they were like only there after all the Facebook comments started bashing Gov.sg for like the whole thing. And it's not the nicest thing to do that. I mean, like, Credit wasn't shared, but when blame came, like suddenly everyone's like, oh yeah, uh, actually we did this with Ben and Doodles. And that is like such a bad action because in a sense, instead of turning the attention where it should be, where like these guys who commissioned this work, you blame the artists for like doing their best. I mean, someone somewhere approved of that really horrible part. Let's move on to uh, the first Facebook comment that I'm going to read. Don't understand the logic. BOD was not even mentioned during the launch, and when something wrong happened, you immediately throw them under the bus to divert heat from the real decision makers. Clap, clap, steady la. Like, but yeah, you know, this guy agrees with me. Uh, well, I mean, clearly I wrote this script around this point, but this is where like I thought about it, and it's true. The BOD wasn't even mentioned in the right. Normally, um, artists usually have like their signatures with uh, like signed to the side, so. It wasn't even there when like the initial artwork came up, and uh, mind you, if you saw my previous video, I was already using their artwork like as my backdrop. You can see Mawa Man, Circuit Breaker in my background. No wait, you can see. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot. You can see Fake News Buster and Circuit Breaker in the background. Uh, yeah, but then of course there are also people who decided to attack Bod. Like this guy, uh, it's bad timing and poor taste. There are heroes on the front lines and we don't need imaginary made up ones. It's bad and distasteful PR collaborating on this project, trying to conjure up fantasy characters in a nationwide crisis. We, we are all not primary one kids anymore. It's a disgrace to those whose lives are on the line day and night on the streets and in the wards and we don't need costume heroes to that remotely depict healthcare workers. Uh, kind of true because um, like you, you guys, everyone hears this phrase called not all heroes wear capes. 
in this case for an epidemic like this actually it's not an epidemic for like a pandemic like this you don't need to turn them to superheroes when they're already superheroes so i think some of the messaging in the for the heroes kind of got lost amongst all the hate like mawa man because he's a man U fan apparently and he dislikes uh, Liverpool fans like a lot of people were bashing the guy who drew it and actually the guy who drew and came out of the concept of Mao Man is the founder of Benetuels and he himself also said like you know Mao Man wasn't really meant to bash Liverpool it was really meant more to like promote safe distancing like uh, you know in this little clip by Zero Box Studios um, he's telling VR Man that hey you're sitting a little too close um, at the end of the day, I, I still feel it's a good effort between BOD and GovTSG for giving us this very well-intentioned but badly executed meme to tide us through the sad news that the circuit breaker has been extended till 1st June. So if you guys have a good or bad time during this circuit breaker, just uh, leave something in the comments and tell me what you think. Uh, the covid video is going to come up, but every day, like I said, every day, new things come up and it's just going to make my video a lot more interesting. Uh, see you guys next time. Just joking lah!